So I'm going to use the first view controller, and I'm just going to make a uh, button. So I'm just going to do a simple IB action, and I'm just going to call it hello. Now this won't do anything, I'm just showing you how you can link your code up, okay? And then obviously what you would do now is just, uh, you know, copy your uh, IB action into your .m file, and then type in your code goes here. Alright, save that. Uh, so now, how do we link our code to our interface in a tab or application? Well, let's say we add a button. Uh, now, usually what you would do is you would come into your uh, fir uh, files owner, and then you click on the connections tab, and then drag a connection to your button. Uh, that's not what you do this time, uh, because this is a window with multiple tabs. So the tab itself has now been assigned to a view controller. So you would click on your tab, then you would click on the connections tab, and then under received action, you just drag your action to your button or whatever file it is you want to add an action to. And then just click touch up inside, save. Save. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, that's how you link your code uh, to your interface in a tab bar application. Uh, if, it, if it's just you know one window, you would always go into your files owner, uh, but in this case we don't. So I'm just going to save and quit interface builder. Um, I'm just going to build and run again. And there we have it. So there's that button. Obviously, once again, I told you it doesn't do anything in this case, but you can see that each page is different. We've linked our code to each page, and we've successfully made a tab bar application. Um, so let's just close this. All right. Uh, so there we have it, guys. Uh, that's how you can make a tab bar application on the iPhone 4 SDK. Um, I hope this helped the person who requested this, because I've been getting a few comments on my previous Exco tutorial, um, and I don't like to keep people um, sort of in, in the dark with my Exco tutorials. Um, I like to keep them updated with the latest information, if possible. Um, so there we have it. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next Exco tutorial.